This video is on data encapsulation and decapsulation within the OSI model context. As data moves down the OSI model, it is encapsulated with header added to the beginning and a trailer to the end, kind of like a gacha machine or a pill with stuff inside of it. Once the data arrives at the receiving host, it moves up the mode and is decapsulated in that header and trailer are stripped off as it moves up. So in the encapsulation and decapsulation process, each layer on the receiving host does the opposite of what was done at that layer on the sending host. The receiving host network layer, for example, strips off what was added by the network layer on the sending host. Uh, let me foot stump this for the exam. Adding a protocol information to the data as it passes through the layers is known as encapsulation. And removing protocol information to data as it passes through layers is known as decapsulation. So data is created in the application layer. That's where all the interaction and all that good stuff happens and is passed to the transport layer. And that's where the segment header is added and removed and then sent to the network layer where a packet header is added or removed, then onto data link layer where frame header is added or removed. Other layers aren't shown because other layers don't encapsulate or decapsulate. For example, physical layer doesn't do that. It simply converts the data into zeros and ones and sends it over. The whole encapsulation of data adds various functionalities and features to the data transmission, but mainly it's for security and reliability of data transmission between two nodes in a network.